Welcome to what's in my bag. This is my notary briefcase or notary bag. It's kind of a small bag, not very wide, um, but it holds a lot of stuff. I'm going to take you through and just show you what I carry into each of my signings. Um, some additional stuff I keep in my car, which you already probably have a list of things you should have on hand. The very front pocket I keep open um, to use to throw my phone into when I go into an appointment and the order um, for the signing that I'm on. That way I have that with me. I'm going to skip to the back pocket here and just show you what's in the back. This is where the bigger portion is where I keep um, the loan document package and the borrower's copies. I also have my tablet in here, and there's plenty of room for my laptop to fit in there as well. And then, of course, everybody's got to have a journal. So there's my journal. To so go to the front pocket, that actually is a bigger space, but I also have a lot of stuff in here too. The very front pocket, I'm going to show you that I keep all of my certificates, my loose certificates, jurats, acknowledgements, copy certifications, and credible witness, along with a copy of my um, state manual, just in case I need to look something up. I also have a receipt book here when I'm doing general notary work and I need to give the signer a receipt, this is the one I use. And I think I just got this off of Amazon. No place special. I also have one of the big fat pens we talk about. Um, it's a weighted pen. It comes in handy for uh, older signers or signers who have uh, Parkinson's or some type of shake. It really helps stabilize their signature and makes it look a lot smoother. Um, and it is a little bit of learning curve on this, so if you're gonna have your signers use it, give it to them, have them practice for a little bit before you actually sign your documents. I also have a couple of uh, gloves in here. I don't wear them regularly at an appointment, but if someone is pretty COVID paranoid, I will go ahead and use these if they want me to. I do also carry shoe covers. Um, I am not a fan of taking my shoes off going into someone's house, but I will put on shoe covers if they need for me to. You've got to always have travel Kleenex. Always got to have a Kleenex, guys. This is the pens that I use um, at the signing table. It's a real skill to get to where you can just shake out one or two pens for your signers to use. And of course, they're going to keep those, but these are sanitized and already in the bag. Have an umbrella. Doesn't rain much in Arizona, but when it does, you need an umbrella. Always have to have your bottle of water. And then this bigger case that's in here, this is my tools. This is what is on the table with me and the stack of documents when I'm doing a signing. And this is where the magic happens. Ta-da! Okay, so we're gonna look at this top flap first. Um, styluses to use when we go to, when we're doing a hybrid and use and going to my tablet. These are sanitized with my little hand sanitizer. And I usually, this little screen wipe I use to wipe off the screen of my tablet, but I also put the um, styluses in the center of this, spritz them with the hand sanitizer, and just kind of let them sit there and marinate for a while while we do the paper documents. Um, these pens are for my use. Generally, when we're signing loan documents, it's blue ink. Occasionally, we have a black ink request, so I do have enough here for two signers and myself. Again, I'd have to sanitize before we use those. These two tools are, this is a UV light. This is a fraud fighter. This is what you shine on the IDs, and it exposes the security features of the IDs, so that if you have any question on whether it's a um, forged or fake document, this will let you know right away. This actually is a laser pointer, and I use this for COVID um, paranoid <laughs> clients who want you to stay across the room. I'll actually use this to point to where I want them to sign or to turn a page, or even on the tablet, I'll stand behind them at a distance and just use the laser pointer to guide them what to do next on the tablet. In here, I've got several 
sticky notepads and this actually has my company name on these. I got these from Vistaprint, but if I need to make a note on a document, this is what I'll use and I'll stick it on the document and put it back in the package. I have some business cards stuck in here too. We always have to have business cards. This stamp, if I can get it out of here, this is what we use when we end up finding a document that uh, has a certificate that's not numbered with the rest of the pages. This is what you're going to stamp on there and fill out the information so that it gets attached or stays with the document you were intending it to. So you fill out all of that information and stamp it on the loose certificate in the package. This little guy is a power bank. So this is what I use to uh, charge my phone in an emergency or even my laptop or hybrid or tablet if I need to. This little section back here, this is where I keep all my little goodies. This is a signature guide. This, when you have an, a visually impaired signer, this comes in real handy to keep them on the signature line so that they're not going above it <clears throat> and obscuring their signature and other printed material on the document. It kind of keeps them lined up on the line. This is a card reader. So I use this for general notary work. This is um, for my accounting software, which is Quicken. Um, and it's not unlike Square or any of the other card readers you can hook up to your phone. This little guy, I don't know if you can see it. This is my embosser. An embosser is not required to be used in the state of Arizona, but I do use it a lot for general notary work. Sometimes people will bring you multiple page documents. They're not numbered um, and you have a, a notarial certificate on the last page. You're going to use the embosser just to mark all of the pages in between so that nobody can switch out page four of grandpa's will after you notarize it. I also have a tiny little stapler. That's what we use to <clears throat> attach checks <clears throat> to documents so that title can't say, hey, I didn't get that check from your signing. These are individual little sanitizing hand wipes. This is what I use um, to have the signers clean up their right thumb because I always do a right thumb print on them um, in my journal. And I use this thumb printer from National Notary Association. I like this better. It lasts about three times longer than anything else on the market that I've tried. So it's a good value. This you can't see because the uh, label's part, partly torn off, but this is sort quick. This is finger wax. This is what I use um, to help turn page pages. It, I, some people use the rubber thumb uh, covers. I don't like those. I prefer the sort quick. The other three stamps or four stamps in my pa in my um, little kit here. Um, two ta two stamps that are to um, see attached no notary certificate. One's for a jurat. One's for an acknowledgement. So in the event that you're not able to use the certificate that's on a particular form in your loan document package, you can stamp this near that certificate just to indicate you're not using that. Um, and then you'll do a loose certificate on that. So whichever applies, acknowledgement or jurat. And then of course, this is my notary stamp. Don't look at that too close, you get my ID number. The other one's just kind of a miscellaneous stamp. This is the same statement um, that's printed on California notary um, certificates, and it just talks about um, not certifying the contents of a document. And that's it. Thank you very much.